everyone and welcome back to the channel where your likes, comments, and subs are always greatly appreciated. In this video, I'm going to show you how to update the firmware for the Zoom R12 multi-track recorder. So the first thing that you'll need to do is go to the Zoom website. Once you're there, find the support and download section. Inside the support and download section, there should be a search bar. And from there, you could just type in R12. After you type in R12, the results should populate and you should see a picture of the R12. Simply click that. And once you're on that page, you should be able to see the different support and download documents that are offered for the R12. Towards the top, there should be a file that shows you the most recent firmware for the R12. If you click that, what you'll get is a zip file. So a zip file should download to your computer. When you have the zip file, you will need to extract it. So extract the zip file. When you open that up, you'll have a folder that contains multiple files. Inside that folder is one bin file, a .bin file. You need to grab that .bin file and drag it over to your SD card. Put it in the root directory of the SD card that's going to go into the R12. Once you have the bin file in the root directory of the SD card, you can eject it from your computer and bring it over to your R12. You do want to keep the R12 powered with a stable power supply while running the firmware update. It will not allow you to do the update if you're using battery power. At that point, you can simply insert the SD card into your R12 on the side. Now, the R12's update mechanism for its firmware is a little bit different than the previous R series, whether it was the R8 or the R16 or the R24 or even the more recent R20. You do not need to turn on the R12 with an uh, alternative boot strategy, usually by holding down a play button or record button and hitting power. You do not need to do that. So simply insert your SD card into the R12. You can power it, power it on normally, and then we'll go through the firmware update process. Once you've turned on the R12, what you can do is go to your system settings by clicking the um, icon in the upper right hand corner and you can check your current firmware version. So click that and you'll see your current firmware version. You can see that this is on version 1.0, is that's what the R12 shipped with. When we go back, we can now choose firmware update. When you do that, the software will tell you that it's going to update, in this case, from firmware version 1.0 to 2.0. You simply have to hit Execute. It'll ask you to then restart the device. So you could turn it off. And then power it back on. The device will flash during the update process. So you'll see that on the play button as the play button flashes. Eventually that stops. And then the screen comes on. Firmware update complete. Please restart one more time. So we can shut off the device. And then turn on the device one more time. You'll notice that it says version 2.0 at the bottom when we boot up the R12. We can check our firmware version now by again going into the system settings, scrolling down, choose firmware version, and you can see we are now on system version 2.0. And that's what I wanted to demonstrate today, how easy it is to update the firmware for the Zoom R12 multi-track recorder. I'll cover what features are being added um, in these firmware updates in subsequent videos, but I will quickly state that if you move from version 1.0 to 2.0 and beyond, it does allow you to use an iPad and an iPad-specific app 
to control the fader view of the R12 remotely. So you get a nice big iPad screen to work with all the faders and uh, play around with the different uh, effects that you could potentially use using the iPad screen instead of just using this tiny small screen that the R12 has. I'll cover that in more detail after I get time to fully test it out. All right. Hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. All right, thanks. Goodbye.